to get it. It's very important. Um, so yeah, the goal is suppress Malkuth with uh, <laughs> some agent errors and uh, suppress an abnormality five times, a low rank abnormality. The problem is Little Red will escape and I don't know if we can actually handle that, but we've got pretty good armor for, you know, all things considered. So we're gonna try. Anyway, also I apologize for the leg outs if they do happen. The last time we did a core suppression, the fancy blur effect caused some problems. We'll see, we'll see. So far there's less blur, so that's great. All right, well everyone say hello to Malkuth. About to do some design. Um, yeah, I mean, she's she's not having a very good day, clearly. She's kind of grown some tentacle arms. Did she say anything to us? So if you just watch for a second. There we go. Well, shall we partake in an employee educational video together? I want to assist something. I didn't pause it enough. Wish I was needed. Apparently, Malkuth is our best girl for the most part. But... Let's just chill for a second. Also, important to remember, the main goal here is to get to Meltdown 6. It doesn't matter how you get there, if you get to Meltdown 6, the game is over. You might need the energy, I'm not 100%, but main thing is, survive. Yep, there you go, fella. We got, I believe this guy is affectionately known as the Tall Bird. So, uh, Tall Bird. It's not a great time to work on it, to be honest. But, we've got the right armor, I believe. <laughs> You've avoided all the birds. Well, <laughs> this bird is just annoying bird. It's okay. This guy, I have seen before. He's not so easy, but there's a good reason to get him. So, I, I didn't know I was picking him when I picked him, but <laughs> we picked him anyway. So, we're going to start with this guy. I don't remember what to use. We'll go with, uh... We'll start with Instinct, because he's a bird. And I'm gonna go with... What do you think? 0.8 Pale Wall or 1 Aleph? We'll start with the Aleph armor. It's generally the safest. And I'm not even sure he does Pale for sure, for sure. It's only because he says, uh, unfair scale that I assume Pale. Because, you know... Scales. He does do Pale damage. Ahem. There's an old saying, never forget the bird of judgment, no matter how long it takes, it will eventually find you. It's waiting in the bushes. Oh yeah, I just so you guys know, um, I know seeing as we got raided, there's some new viewers. We're trying to keep the chat spoiler free as much as possible. Even if I know a little bit or you know a little bit, we'll try to keep the viewers learning as we go. That is the way I prefer it. The bird, perhaps, it's already in your house. See, fella, this one was made for you. People are sly, and they are unable to save their own souls. That's why the bird came. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Now, darkness reigns in the forest. That's the second reference to forests, I think. I think all the birds refer to the forest they came from. Heck yeah, that's a good! Alright. Now, it's a fairly expensive abnormality, but let's go for those tips. When the work result was normal, <laughs> the counter was reduced with a normal probability. So, average work, 50-50 to lower the counter. Eh. We're gonna try one more. What did I pick last time? Oh, also, have a look at uh, my stats there, by the way. trying to get the hard stuff done early on, in case you're wondering. Because our stats are not going to get better today. Yeah, the Aleph gear is smart. We'll just stick with the Aleph. Most likely to not die. And I did heal up. I'll probably only do two works per cycle, just to keep it safe. Never forget the Bird of Judgment. No matter how long it takes, it will eventually find you! I just want to get 13 points so I can finish the tips off. And then we'll mostly know what to do. It's never in a hurry. 
Few realize their own sins. Its scale helps them realize them. Now darkness reigns in the forest. 13, that's the goal. Good job. Good job, me. That was very successful, I'm happy. We could probably keep working it, but it's time to do something else. When the work result was bad, the counter was reduced with high probability. Say, 75%, maybe. Alright. Actually, not too bad. The main thing is don't go in there with low pale protection. If you haven't... If I haven't explained it previously, pale damage is percentage of your maximum. So, even with great stats, if you're weak to pale, you're gonna die. So, you wanna have good pale resistance no matter what, if you're gonna go in there. Yeah, I had to work because I, I got fella killed. Alright, so what are we focusing on here? Um, Because I'm worried about the late game in this current day, I want to get energy early because we might not be able to get good efficient energy later. And I think I've got most of the weapons. We've got the weapon and armor from there. The only weapon we're missing right now will be the new bird and the stuff from the slime. And we can't really do this right now, so we'll ignore that. Just not a good day for it. Just not a good day. Alright, let's set our guys up properly. It's supposed to be on the second and fourth row. Alright. We're gonna go a little bit of mountain work early on. Robert has got the, the, uh, the mountain gear. He can't take very much damage from black, period. So he'll be okay. And the army in black, which is the Prince of Alzeans. It is a trick. Don't believe it. Um... Because Drow has the correct equipment for that, he will be 100% safe as well, I believe. So, we're sending in people that have the correct armors just because. Um, we may as well work with Little Red. She's fairly safe. And also Red tier, or Wa tier, that is to say. And we've got Aleph. So, we're sending in the people with Aleph. That's fine. That's the way you do it. So the question is, do I try for the other mission? You can't see the other mission here, but five suppressions to get the, uh... Geberas, Gebera, however you say her name. To get her quest done. That's looking good. That's looking good. That's looking good. So we can definitely work these things early on. Let's just do it early on. So our standard, uh break a monster out is to go work on the Mothman, the butterfly. It's actually known as Funeral, blah blah blah. It's gonna be exciting. Alright, let's speed this up a little bit. <laughs> Might as well do it early, right? Because if, if everyone dies, I'd rather know at the beginning of the day than uh, waiting till the end. Alright, it doesn't really matter who we use. The trick with this guy is if your fortitude is high, his clip-off counter goes down anyway. So, it's not a big deal. We've all got good stats at this point. Breakout number one. But, he's a chump. Nothing to worry about. Number one, complete. And, as we should be aware, that means Little Red gets a little bit cranky. So, oh man, this is scary, I know. I don't know about Little Red, guys. Yeah, the team's getting pretty strong. <laughs> now that we've got some Aleph equipment, the uh, the Mothman, he, uh, <laughs> he's not prepared. I mean, I understand, Casco, but we gotta get this quest done one way or the other. We've got to get execution bullets, and that's the only way. Now, it's not the best day for it, I'll admit, but, uh, we'll see how it goes. At least we've got Aleph armor, right? Hey, hey, what, what was that? Seriously? Also, did you guys see? <laughs> we got a sniper here. Get back here, Mothman. He does his special attack. Please don't kill the janitors, actually. I would appreciate them all. That's... That's great. 
Well, consider that minus one for that, and not quite minus one, but that's where we're going to die. What's going to happen, I can already predict it. We're going to release Little Red, she's going to kill a bunch of janitors, this thing and this thing is going to escape, then we're dead. It's going to be great. Oh, the dog's still at two, we're good for a little while. Now, it's possible that as we suppress the Mothman, this will go back up to three, so maybe that'll stay in. So the secondary question is, can we suppress Little Red and our angry mountain? Ah, uh, let me think here. So as soon as we trigger him, she's gonna also go. I need to try to contain her. And I don't have any, like, cool slow bullets. White shield on the janitors? I mean, that might have saved them. That's fair. Good idea. Good idea. Next time. We're going to have to trust the B team to deal with the Mothman. I'm pretty sure they can handle it. Eh, he's not that tough. They've got mostly hat armor, so... This is the only way it's going to work, though. Because I can't have my big team, my A team, in two places at once. Also, that's the wrong room. <sighs> Alright, are we ready? You guys, everybody happy? It's your last chance. And we're doing this before the meltdown, so that's probably good. <laughs> uh, who's in here that's a uh, good choice? Pick, who's in chat? Who's gonna trigger the apocalypse here? Dobry, you're still around, maybe? Hades, Hades is around. Hades! Here you go. Good luck! Rides, you're in the wrong room. Rides is in the more dangerous room. These guys have some chance to survive. You're... you're over here. <laughs> Alright, let's speed this up. As soon as we get this done, it's gonna hit the fan, guys. Might be our most dangerous fight. Here we go. So, about to break free. About to break free. Let's focus down here for the moment. Little Red, not impressed. And she is fast. She is so fast. Alright, she's out. Alright, signal attack. I'll be right back. This guy... He's gonna walk out in a second. I just gotta remember to go check on him, because he's already killed half our janitors. <sighs> Come on, guys. Here it is. She does red damage. I'm giving you guys one chance. This is half my bullets. Alright, here we go. Janitors are dead, but, you know, maybe we can suppress her. Come on, team. Quick, quick, quick. Alright, while that's going on, we're off to a pretty good start. Uh, not counting janitors. These guys are doing well. I'm just going to specifically focus on him so he doesn't escape. Uh, make sure you kill him before he leaves. Alright, because if he leaves the room, they won't follow him unless you tell him. Alright, how are we doing? We're actually... The red shield is holding... No one's taking any damage yet. Until it starts to break. But halfway down, this is... I mean, it's not good for the Janders, let's be clear. So Jelk is taking some hits. Rides is taking some hits. But, not too bad. Not too bad. I think we're okay. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. No problem. A-team for the win! Good job. Now... More janitors have died. He's getting close. We have suppressed two more things. Jelka died? What? You're not supposed to die. I thought he'd be okay. Well, so one person died. <laughs> I 
can't win them all, Jelka. You can't win them all. Okay, everyone back. Time for a meltdown. That's unfortunate. Should I should have tried to get one more red red bullet. I could have saved you. I could have probably saved him. Now, what armor was he wearing? Because I have to rebuy the armor now. That's the most important part. I don't think he was in Allah for anything, right? Just, uh... Ah, here you go. You had her armor. Easy enough. The flesh is gone, but the equipment is back. Aren't you supposed to be going back to your sections? Oh, I forgot. David goes up there. Yeah. Alright. The meatball. I'm guessing he's got about eight or nine left before he gets out. Which might be a problem. We could try to trigger it explicitly with having the A team minus one ready to go. The A minus team. Maybe. We'll see how I feel. Alright. The bird is out, yeah. It'll head home eventually. There you go. I'm just gonna wait till David... Where is David, anyway? He's running up. Back down there. You guys get back down there. We got lots of people in the information team because they're covering this section. And David's up here. So you're gonna go trigger the meltdown with the bird. Because this place is immune to meltdowns. So that's kind of nice. We still haven't really even seen uh, Hod's gimmick. But maybe it'll be make a little bit more sense now. New music. Old time. So I haven't sent anyone to the Night of Despair yet. We have to send someone now. Um, it just means whoever we send can't work the rest of the day. So it'd be nice to send someone who's not super important. Sorry, it's not that you're unimportant, Mia. But, some of these middle... You know what? Someone who doesn't have... Yeah, Mia's got like no... Well, sh hmm. Hold on, double check. Because she's got uh, low movement speed, maybe we won't pick her. Let's go with uh, Jean. Jean's not in chat. He kind of gets the day off now. We're going to have to trigger this guy again. Doesn't really matter. Use the high rank people. Uh, we can save some energy by going into there for a second. It was just three, right? Easy. So first meltdown, no problem. No problem. Mia will be the safest because she can't work after this. Yeah. I mean, pretty standard. Whoever I leave in there will be fine. Oh, also, I needed... I haven't done the quest yet. It's um, three breakouts of HE... Or sorry, five total of HE or lower. We have done only three because red doesn't count towards the ticker. So we do need to break some more. We need two more breakouts. You know what I should have done? I'm an idiot. I should have just let him break out right there and then suppressed him. That would have been more efficient. Oh well, it's no big deal. So Green Dawn's coming. That's not ideal. Definitely not ideal. Look at that. Success on the newbie. John, I mean, I'm calling him the newbie. He's been around for a while, but just not max stats, so... Alright, we're still trying to gather a lot of energy on level 2. Man, I kind of wish Jelka wasn't dead. <laughs> but, um, I think we can still work this bird a little bit longer. Core, core suppression does take precedence, but you can definitely complete um, other quests on the same day. When we did Malkuth suppression, we also had the, um, the, the mission 4 for Tipereth at the same time. Which was completed in six days or something like that. Or no, hers was completed without letting any meltdowns happen. Without any abnormalities finishing their meltdown. So we did that at the same time. Alright, we finished the bird. We got... See, now you can confirm it's pale damage. And I think we can work it one more at least. Maybe. Make sure I'm healed up. I no longer have over 100 HP SP though. I'm pretty sure Redacted uh, is no longer on the roster, so we don't really know much about Redacted. We did have two employees down here at some point, but one of them is no longer on the uh, the, the lot ledger. Oh, so we're going to get a normal, probably. 
Oh, I'm not gonna die. It might drop the counter down. That's actually very easy to get a good. I'm surprised. Usually it's like one third, one third, one third, two thirds kind of thing, but. Oh, I see. 13. I, uh, not bad, not bad. Let's just double check what's safe to work. Definitely not. It's never repression, guys. You never use repression. Should I try one more? Look, you only live once. We're not going to be able to do this much longer. Have you guys figured out what uh, Hod's debuff is yet? So relaxing with this uh, this music. It's great. Just working with the Judgment Bird. Uh, 13, please. 13, please. Alright, well. I think we got a 50-50 chance here. And we get a coin flip in our favor. Thank you very much, game. Alright, so. Uh, it looks like we can use... Maybe Insight is the best, technically, but anything level 5 is probably okay. <laughs> Good luck with your monster hunting rides. We'll see if anyone survives this day. So there's this awesome, it's actually a really good ego gift. It's a, uh, just a eye cover, but it is really good for stats, so. If you see that pop up, we'll be pretty happy. Oh, I got the, uh, the little red gift, actually. I didn't even notice that. I only even worked it a couple times, so that's, uh, the melt, the crimson scar. That's nice, that's nice. Okay, you can complete missions, they just won't show up. Yeah, that's it. Alright, so... What are we doing now? I think this is level 2, we'll still do a couple more A-lifts. It's probably not a good idea to continue doing A-lifts for a whole lot longer. But um, I kind of want the energy right now. Just to make the, the higher levels a little bit safer. And we have done the knight once, so now we can work it... Um, well, I mean, I'd like to say safely. It's, it's not exactly safe, but... We can work it. Oh, I should, um... Before we go too much further, let's try to get our mission done. Before I forget. I'd rather get the, um... Suppression 4 and 5 out of the way now. It'll definitely drop Little Red to 1. <laughs> so that's fun. But it should it should complete the mission objective. And at that point, we can forget about the mission and just try to stay alive for our suppression. We won't have to fight Red again unless I really mess up. But, <laughs> these numbers that are red continue to get larger every time, as time goes on, so. Alright, Mothman. Now, I could still be doing this even safer, right? Like, you don't have to fight Mothman. You can pick anybody that's H-E, Teth, or Aleph, or not Aleph, Zayn. He's gonna kill all my janitors again. Please. Don't kill all my janitors. I don't even know if you're taking damage. Okay, thank you. I gotta be quicker on that in the future. Because if you're not quick... <laughs> Alright, so that's um, number four. We got one more. And then we can fight the Green Dawn, which... Well, we'll see how many, uh, how many genders we die there. Cat, stop being bad. Sorry, guys, my cat is chewing on things he's not supposed to chew on. All right, here we go. Last time, Grotham set it off. Is Mothman a reference to something? I mean, he looks like a Mothman. I know it's technically a butterfly, but it looks way more like a moth. So he's Mothman. There's also a Mothman in The Simpsons, so, you know. Actually, a Mole Man. I'm joking. There probably is a movie called Mothman or something. Sounds like a traditional 80s horror flick. Okay, that's the five suppressions. Um, we need to not die to the, the, the robots. That's going to be the trick for sure. And we just have to hope that we don't get a noon too early. Or maybe, maybe what I should do is think differently. Um, maybe we should just let this guy out and hope that we can kill him without losing another employee. 
It's plausible that Robert could 1v1 him. Well, I don't know how well Black works. Is he, like... Yeah, he's pretty strong against Black, but Red is the best. So you could have Robert tanking him, because he's really strong against Black damage. And then if you had, like, Jarrell long-range sniping, I mean, it's white, but... He'd be safe at long range. The Mothman prophecies. Perfect! See, I knew there had to be a Mothman out there somewhere. Let me just think for a second. I think we could suppress it if we were prepared. The problem is if it escapes and we're not in position. As long as we're in position, he won't be so bad. I mean, he might kill us. The problem is I think he's going to escape one way or the other. And, you know, if our armies, if we're spread out, he's, he's going to just murder everybody. Uh, we're spread pretty thin, too. The trouble is, like, you know, if we get, if we get too many robots showing up where we can't react quick enough, they're going to kill a lot of people. And I won't have enough bullets to protect everybody. Like, there's just, there's no way. Plus, if, if, uh... If the Mountain of Smiles does black damage, I can protect my employees a little bit more successfully. Alright. So the plan will be... Trigger the Green Dawn. Accept that we're going to lose a lot of employees. And have, hopefully, our A-team ready to suppress him. And then once he's done, we'll finish up the robots. We'll let... You know, the B-team will focus on the robots. And the A-team will... Expect him to escape because I think he's gonna escape no matter what now If this thing also escapes things are gonna be not so happy He'll escape first Because this is 15 that's only less than 10 and If we suppress him that'll get a plus one technically I'm a, I'm a little bit worried Definitely a little bit worried so we got two safe jobs anyway. Let's get some energy while we're just looking around here. The other part of my logic is... It's probably... If we're going to have to suppress them anyway, it's probably better to try to suppress them on, you know, cycle two or three instead of waiting till cycle five when, I mean, uh, chances are these numbers are going to be a little bit higher. I'm a little concerned. You could also trigger him by sending in someone. There's a way of setting this off manually. Um, you don't want someone to die. But if you walk into his room injured, which is not too hard to set up, that'll make him escape immediately and you won't die, I think. That's the 10, more, 10 or more employees that we're talking about. It does eat corpses. And it gets bigger as it eats corpses. Alright guys, round two of probably we're all gonna die. Let's uh... Let's send all of those guys over to the right. We'll get these guys in this elevator. I... I can't see one person... Well, I'll leave... No, I'm not going to have David 1v1 against one of the robots. Uh, he could probably 1v1 them, but it's just not going to be very efficient. So we'll have two teams in B team to try to clean them up quickly, but you know everyone, you know all the janitors are going to die. And then we don't have anyone guarding this section, so these guys are all dead. <laughs> Until we suppress them out. Oh man, this is, this is not going to work. <laughs> this is not going to work. Alright, HR Spider set it off. Um... HR Spider, Daubry, there you go. You'll be safe for a minute or two with the spiders. All right, what do we get? Oh, good! One robot spawned with our B team. That's actually pretty ideal, to be honest. These guys, let's see. That one's kind of out of the way. So we'll probably send this team to here and then to there. 
And this team will take out that one and then that one. Meanwhile, the mountain will certainly escape. The trick is, we won't get a message when he escapes, so you gotta keep your eye on him. But, I mean, it won't take long to kill a couple employees, I'm sure. Like, these guys, they're probably all dead. I mean, maybe we could have saved enough janitors, I don't know. Oh, that's Punishing Bird. <laughs> don't attack him! That would be dumb. So the upper levels are basically covered. Here we go! <laughs> you knew it was gonna happen. Have I explained Hod's gimmick? No, I mean, I've been kind of letting people... I mean, have I explained it yet? I mean, I have, uh... I've been giving some 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 very explicit tips for every uh, for every meltdown level, but I haven't said it out loud. Next time, level four, I'll explain it. All right, here we go. He's out. He is facing um, Grotham. So Grotham, you know, let's just give you a shield for no specific reason. Let's see how this goes. Oh, he's also chomping on uh, me. Well, I want more shielding, too. Alright, kill him, guys. Get him slowed down. You know, we're doing fine. This is this is easy. No problem! Look at this! We're barely even injured. Psh. Piece of cake. Alright, let's go kill this robot. Before this thing escapes. Because I would prefer not to have another mistake. Or another whatever I'm trying to say. Another death. Okay, the bird's still out. That's fine. The upper team, I think, has cleared out their robots. Everybody's dead. The upper team can go deal with this one. Everybody's dead. So yeah, the mountain... I mean, the, 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 base, the best advice I can give you is... You have to kill him right after he escapes. If you let him eat things... He's gonna get a lot worse. Tell you what, I'll try to keep that one alive. Alright, I think... It's not over yet. Did I miss one somewhere? Red zone. We never got to this one. What?! Who- Right! I didn't keep count! One, two, three, red. One, two, three, red. Uh, why is who's somebody panicking? Well, Jelka's dead. Oh, yeah, Casco's not having a great time. All right, um, <clears throat> as things get worse, <laughs> this is the end. This is the end. <sighs> We can fix you, Casco. You'll be okay. We just need some time. It's fine. You guys are... Actually, you are fine. You're gonna heal up in a second. I would prefer if you stayed in the room, though. Uh... Well, you'll be fine eventually. Oh good! Oh good! <laughs> Seconds later! Well, we're... You know... This is what happens. The good news is there's not a lot less to be killed for the mountain. Alright, you guys are gonna get up there. So... There seems to be a few of them. <laughs> One, two... We still never even killed the robot. I missed that. That's probably why we probably why it got out. I missed one. I thought I'd killed all the robots, but I, I missed that one. Well, I mean, Red got out anyway, but uh, that's probably why the love got out. I didn't see him. Okay. Uh, you're gonna hang out there. We we might be looking at a reset. 
it's uh, certainly possible. Hey, you know what? This is perfect. You guys just have fun in there. That's great. Why don't we find out how bad these things are? You guys go down there first. Um, the robot won't cause too much more problems. H how's it going here? Red, it's pretty strong. She'll she'll get the base back in order. Honestly, I don't even know what these things do. Is it doing anything? All right, just shoot it. This is for science. All right, it does black hearts, black damage. Oh, it's not that tough. Yeah, that's not bad. But there are like four of them, and all the janitors are dead. <laughs> you guys just stay there. Uh huh. Bird, bird, bird is the word. Well, that's good. The robot and the uh, the love can. F <laughs> what happy music we've got! There's so much happiness. How is the team looking anyway? Is there, is there anybody else dead yet? David's alive somewhere. <laughs> Casco is running around at mock speed somewhere and no one can heal him up. Jelk Jelk is still the only death. We can still recover. We can still recover. It's about to get a whole lot worse. What are you talking about? Little Red's gonna clean this up. Uh, we're just gonna stay down here and resuppress the mountain. We already know we can do it. Uh, the B team though, I mean, I got bad news for the B team. You're kind of on your own up here. Um, in fact, Casco, maybe we should stop chasing you around wherever you are. Pixel, you guys, you guys can go in there where you can heal. Um, you guys should probably try to go heal up a little bit. Oh, there he is. There he is, right? Yeah. Hades, you know, you're trying to help the situation out. David's over here. He's got a, a spear that's not going to help. You can get up there. All right. Little Red is getting out. Just uh, shooting people. You, you don't want to be over here right now. Casco, I feel like you're going the wrong way, probably. Well, <laughs> that's uh, not the right direction. Bird's fine. All right, you know, good news, good news. There is has some some good news for the day. Uh, the robot is no longer causing problems, so uh, that's good. Meanwhile, meanwhile, bad news. The mountain has escaped for the second time, and you know who? Ca Actually, at this point, I don't even care. If you die, you the janitors. I don't care anymore. All the things that can break out have broken out, so I'm not. I don't care about janitors. All right, here is our test. Can we suppress them again? before he eats everything. We're gonna try to keep people alive. All right, good luck team. Just block them from the bodies. You got one job to do. I don't know how many bodies it takes, just stop them. You're just gonna get chomped a little bit. You'll be, you'll be fine, they'll be fine, they'll be fine. Uh, Little Red, oh sure, the Forsaken Murderer. How did he even get out? The heck? I don't even know what possibly would have let him out. You died, Casco? That's probably appropriate. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure Little Red got you. You were you're being dumb. I'm not sure. My only question that doesn't make sense is how did this guy get out? He just sometimes gets out? Cause we didn't work on him or anything. I never bought that the first time. He just sometimes gets tired of being in jail. When the black heart reaches the center of the j Oh, sure. I mean, that that's great. Look. If they could just get the wolf out, which is what's about to happen, this will be way more exciting. Let's just keep an eye on her over here. Is someone in there? Okay. Well, I think you're dead, Thornum. Unless you're somehow faster than Little Red, I believe you did. You're gonna get shot in the back. Yep, 
Well, just, just keep running. It's good, you're luring her away. Alright, so the mountain did die. Congratulations. A team. A minus team. You've suppressed. I think the, I think the basement's under control. Uh, mostly. So that's good. Up here, we got one heart just doing what it does. Honestly, if it wants to go explode up here, totally fine. Give the murderer a red shield. <laughs> you, you can. Didn't work. <laughs> Maybe you can't. All right, well, who wants to see what happens here anyway? This is more exciting than keeping everybody alive. All right, you guys are going to reposition over this way. The A-team's on the way, though. Wait, where's she going? Well, you went the wrong way, Red. She's going to go kill all the janitors first. These guys are, are going to take a little while. Oh, here we go again. And killing janitors. Just got to keep an eye on her. Oh, she puts a little target on people. That's what we gotta watch for. I didn't even see that earlier. Oh, they are all dead. Poof. Will you please just go release the wolf? Please? Look, my A-team's working. We're almost there. We're gonna have to do a final stand here. A plus B team. Well, if she goes down... What's gonna happen? She's going down. So last time we had one more uh, employee, <laughs> and we technically suppressed her. I've only got three bullets. You guys are going to be back up. All right, we got to do some hardcore micro today. So, not off to a great start, let's say. She's she's fighting. Alright, we're gonna try to keep Brotham alive. She's shooting also this way. So maybe. Wonder if you could, like, kite her. Because the people behind her aren't gonna take much damage. And we are getting healed slowly. This is better than when we first fight her. You know, we should have. I should have been smart. Even this fight, we should have done in this room if we could have lured her in here. Because then we would have had some passive healing. Um, and that might have been enough to keep Jelka alive. So that was a, a mistake. Also, it does show you who she's attacking. Yeah, there's probably a better way to handle her that I just, you know, I hadn't seen it before. Also, if the person she's focusing on has good armor, then you're fine. So she was focusing on Grotham, who had 0.4 red damage. He had... I wonder if there's a reason for that. <laughs> he does have the wolf armor. So maybe there's a reason she went for him. Anyway, that's... Is that it? Are we good? You're in bed. You're happy. You're happy. Puppy's happy. Murderers have everybody's happy. We're done. We win. Good job, team. We we may have lost a couple people, but honestly, that's no big deal. It's fine. We've gone too long with no deaths. It's perfectly fair. Okay, so in case uh, Grotham got the accessory, wait a second. I didn't even see that. Where is he? Is Grotham upstairs? No, he's. Oh, there he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got that cool coffin. So that's from the, uh, from the Mothman dude. It's not great, but, uh, you know. Right now, we don't have a lot of stats. So, all right. At least buy your items back. Where? What kind of items did you have? I, I forget what I equipped you with, even. Oh, there you go. You had this cool red shirt. And I can't buy that back, so we'll have to work on that later. And you had a spear or something? Probably... Probably this Frost Queen or something? Nope. Maybe the grinder? Someone had the grinder. I don't know what you had. We'll figure it out in base, it's easier. You had a spear from Spider HR? Nope, not that one. Just clicking all these is kind of silly. 
I'm sure you had a weapon from something. Uh, it might have been the horn. Somebody died with that. That's not a very good weapon. Oh well. Did I even- Well, somebody had a, a Teth level beauty weapon. I don't think you had the axe. I never really worked on that. Anyway, so, in case you're wondering, now that we're slowing down a little bit, every every meltdown level minus some amount of stats to everything. So the reason I was trying to rush the low level stuff and the fights early is because it's just going to get worse. But we should be okay now. So basically what I'm going to do is focus on relatively easy things, sort of heh or lower, and uh, just sort of burn through the rest of the time now. We've probably spent an hour here already, so... Wait, someone died over here? Oh yeah, Casco from that side. You know, two deaths, that's not even that bad. Sure, they're level 5 employees, but you know... I, if that's all we lose today... Don't look over there though. That's not so bad. So we're gonna, gonna just stick with some of the low critters for a little while here. We're definitely not gonna work on the wolf. We can worry more about farming stats, you know, tomorrow. We just need... I'm, I'm pretty sure we have more than enough energy at this point, so we should be fine. But yeah, as our stats get lower, you kind of have worse and worse results on the work. So it, it basically becomes impossible, I think, to work on the Aleph safely once you get uh, maybe past level 3 or so. I wonder if I can still work on the bird. He's got no penalty. I'd love to get him finished researching today. I can probably still do it on level 3. He's only Wa. I got Aleph armor. We'll keep an eye on him, but I think this is okay. I don't want to push my luck, but... Actually, if he does percentage damage, then losing your max HP SP doesn't matter so much. Losing your Temperance is not great, but... Hey, Thorinum. I think you somehow survived the breakdown there today. So here you go. This is the extra special reason for picking the bird, in case someone wasn't aware of it. I wasn't 100%... Well, to be fair, like I said, when I first picked the bird, I did not know what he dropped. I, I didn't know the words meant that this was the bird. But once I saw the bird, I'm like, oh, well, this is totally fine. It's our first and very rare pale weapon, Aleph Tear. So he gives you better weapons and armor than his warranted. And this stuff is the best... Probably the best armor we've got at this point. So we're not going to get it today, but that's... Set number four of Aleph equipment. Pretty darn sweet, right? Yeah, this guy was kind of an accident, but uh, a happy accident, let's say. We've had a couple happy accidents. So let's just get this going. Um, let's keep working the easy things. We'll trigger a meltdown. The next meltdown is going to be a little bit scary. Uh, we've been lucky, I guess, that um, the bad ones haven't melted down. Uh, we haven't seen Melting Love meltdown. We haven't seen... What else would be bad? Well, that's the worst one right now, honestly. We haven't seen... Did the tree melt down? Yeah. We've avoided the tree meltdown. Now, if, if the big bad wolf melts down, that'll be another problem, to be honest. But uh, we'll deal with that. You had the dual pistols. Oh, the Mothman pistols? There you go. Congratulations. You got it. I think we could work on... I mean, especially with Aleph armor, there's no way we're going to have a problem with the shoes. You've got high level. Now, I think I wouldn't be surprised if the debuff applies to your uh, work level as well. So you want to make sure you're not sending someone who's got their stats down to level 2 temperance. Or else you're still going to have problems, but... Not counting that, this should be fine. If the wolf, if the wolf melts down, kite him to red. What I Well, what I mean is, if the wolf melts down and I send someone to work it... Her counter will go down, which I guess is okay now that it's three again. Um, if he escapes, I don't even want to see what happens. Honestly, at this point, I'm kind of, I'm kind of over uh, escape monsters for the day. We've had enough. You know, I, I think it's time for everybody to just stay in their containment facility. <laughs> Maybe we'll find a, a wolf versus red whiting, a little red uh, battle of the ages for a different day. For now. Let's just take it easy. Alright, so you guys should go to the bottom. You should go to the middle. And we'll trigger a day with, uh, you know, HR Spider is always our classic way to start the day. Head on in, Daubry. It's 
close, it's quick, it's fairly safe. A little bit of lag there. Oh, everyone, look! A little bit, uh... A little bit loss of quality there. That's, that's not the stream, that's the game. So what do we get? Meltdowns. Also, level 4 is probably where things really hit the fan, by the way. So we've got the funeral. We can work it. Melting love. And the mountain. Uh, the red shoes again. We can ignore that. What happened in the control team? Look, uh, you're going to have to find what episode this is and you're in for a great time when you finally find it. <laughs> there's a lot of There's a lot of death. I don't know which one's better yet. Probably Insight, I guess. Alright, deal with the bird. The red shoes are okay. The melting love, this is where things are going to get exciting. Um, we start with attachment when no one has the buff. Robert, it's time for this time to go, basically. It's go time. And the mountain needs some work because I don't want it to escape again. Um, I'm fairly sure rides will be okay. Like I said, I didn't want to work Aleph's in level 4, but sometimes you don't get an option. Is that everybody? How many meltdowns was it? Eight? One, two, three, four. I didn't do that one yet. Five, six, seven. Gonna need someone else to cover this. Looks like Jarrow. You've got lots of temperance, so you should be okay. I mean, Robert's fine as long as he doesn't fail three times. I apologize for all the zooming, but it's uh, it's kind of hard to see what's going on, and I'm paused. So. Nothing up here can melt down. Not working the wolf. Okay. The goal now, I think, is to go fast. Now that we've had to work Melting Love, we don't want to waste any more time. So anything that can trigger a counter without going over, that's one, two. Let's get as many as we can work. Go, go, go. One, two, three, four. This thing's not going to kill anybody. Snow Queen! Hades! You resist white. I think you'll be okay with reduced stats. Lots of work, 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 work. A little bit worried about sending people to work on... I mean, we sent pretty much everybody. We're kind of out of employees. Send Pixel. Not on repression, but yeah, he'll be okay. Alright, we're just trying to keep things moving quickly now. Because we're on a bit of a timer now that this has gone on. We still don't have execution bullets. Although, you know, in a sense, in a sense, there's not a whole lot of genders to infect. So, you know, win some, lose some. Right? That's, that's the way to think about it. So, let me just double check meltdowns, make sure I got them all. Pretty sure no one will die. It's all a little bit of a gamble at this point, though. Let's just keep these guys working. I want to still stop right before the, uh, the next meltdown if I can, but we, we want to get to cycle six now, basically. Eh, this team's kind of beaten up. I I think we'll be okay here. I think we'll be okay. Look at that success! You know what that means? You got you're two points short on the purse. A little bit disappointed. So rides took a lot of damage from this thing. That's why we don't want to work Aleph's right now. Uh, it's pretty bad. Back over there. Please don't infect. I think if you got infected right now, I wouldn't even be able to see it. So please just don't do that. Don't want to send Robert over. Grotham should be okay. I'm going to work the bird again. I don't think it can kill me. At least not yet. That's a brave thing to say. We can't work the Mothman anymore. At least, I really don't want to. Let's see. You're healed up. Get back in there. How many is that? One, two, three. 
I think we got one more after that. Let's just... Oh, I have to... Back to Spider. There's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff going on. So that's the last meltdown. Point, point, point. So we've got probably one more to send right now. Let's just do another easy one up here. And then once most people are done, we'll trigger the final meltdown that we have to survive. I sure hope nobody's got any uh, slime on them, but... I mean, one of the other problems is, you know, the melting love breaks down when half of the janitors in its department have the slime. What happens when there's one janitor? If it gets infected, it breaks out instantly? That's, that's what I'm kind of worried about. I'm just not in the mood for a, uh, a breakout right now. Alright, just a little bit more and we'll set off the last one. Alright, I sure hope we can survive one last meltdown. Uh, I guess we're kind of lucky because it might have been worse if we got a... Well, most of the janitors are dead. You know, we probably could have handled a purple noon easier, to be honest, because they wouldn't do anything because everything's dead. So this is maybe less 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 fortunate at this point around. All the remaining employees. Oh, well that's nice. I I thought the janitors it just if it if it only counted janitors then it would be bad, but if it includes my guys then at least we have some some solidarity. All right. We'll send into one sin. David up here has been doing a lot of You can see the stats are not looking great. So depending on what we get on the meltdown here, we might well there's a couple different strategies for this final section. Alright. Level 4. We actually will not see the blue noon. Or, uh, what do they call it? Amber? Not Amber. It's, there's a name for it. I forget the name of it. But anyway, blue noon is not happening today. Because as soon as we finish this, it's the end. Indigo. There you go. It's totally blue. Um, the question, though, is what melted down? I don't know <laughs> with our current stats if we could survive working on the mountain. So I gotta make a decision. I try to finish the meltdown and finish the day with like one sin, or we ignore the meltdowns and try to rush for the end. There's a lot of big boys that are melted down. Now Robert, he does have the black armor. You got a good, you got a good point. He shouldn't take that much. And Melting Love is not injured. Yeah, you know, he can probably live. That's fair. I was thinking this would not be good for rides. I think he'd be dead. Because he took a lot of damage last time. In fact, well, yeah, he did heal up. But, yeah, okay. I, I believe in Robert. Um, mm, that's okay. No janitors are going to die. We can afford one less clip-off counter. Right? It's only one. Wounded drops it by one. I just don't want to send him to general population. We need that upgrade that heals you in the hallways. That, that would be really nice right now. Alright, Robert, I believe in you. Repress it and don't die. This thing generally doesn't kill people. I don't need to worry about the love, do I? Oh no, Army in Black's mad too. Uh, the good news is, once again, white damage. We do have the correct equipment ready. It's a good thing we got the, the armor ready. 0. 0.3 white Aleph should be enough. Stop that. And then Grotham also takes reduced white damage at least. So that's the lower levels, not counting <laughs> bad times over here. So... 39, 37. I was just trying to think what gives me the most time. Whichever one I don't go to only has a very limited amount of time for me to get to next. Um, if I have to do them both myself. This is where not having Jelka kind of sucks. I'm going to do the bird because I'm probably the only one that can survive the bird reliably. And then Little Red, I mean, she's, she's tough too, no mistake. I don't think I have anyone else down here that's not... Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, we've got rides. 0.6 red. 
Wall level. I believe in your rides. You're you're at 85 HP, which is good. we could do the math. We could do the math. Five. How many failures are you gonna get? Ten at the most. That's 50 damage. You're taking less than that because your wall with red protection. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. All right. I think assuming everyone can survive those jobs, we've got this in the bag because that's the hardest part of this meltdown is not dying to the breakouts or the meltdowns. Now the stuff in the middle, you know, it's not necessarily trivial, but it won't be the same. This thing does uh, red damage, of course. Everybody up here should have red armor, so no problem. This guy does red, also not a problem. Okay, the tree is only at level three, so we actually haven't even failed him yet. It does white damage, so let's make sure we're sending people in with white armor. We're gonna be extra careful because, you know, it's, it's the end here. HR Spider, red damage, will send in Mia with red protection. We're gonna ignore stuff like this and this. And that's it. Assuming we don't die on this, we can basically just do the safe, easy ones to finish the day up. None of the tools broke down, so we're not gonna lose any energy accidentally. I feel like the riskiest play here might be red, but it's probably more likely the Aleph's that would get somebody. You haven't even missed hardly at all there. No, I think we got this. I know it's hard to see. Oh yeah, look at this. Robert barely took any damage at all. Yeah, that armor is pretty awesome. We, uh, the big problem would be if we wait around too long. So we gotta go a little bit quick or else, you know, the infection. But other than the infection, there shouldn't be much to worry about. We've even made some decent progress on the Justicia. Let's keep working down here. Oops, that's not what I wanted. You know what, Robert? Sending you back into the love. It's not gonna kill you. It's not gonna kill you, right? <laughs> it's black damage. It's the same armor you've got. There's no way it's gonna kill you. I just I want that purse. <laughs> this is this is greed, okay guys? This is 100 percent greed. It's <laughs> we're two points away from the purse. I want it. <laughs> you wouldn't do insight? Well, I mean it's about the same, give or take. I don't know. I think he'll be fine. He takes 20% damage. He might not get a great success, but it's at level 3, so even if he gets a neutral, it's not going to break out. Meanwhile, we just need to finish it up up here. Lots of 1 sin, no big deal. Even beauty's pretty safe to work at this point. I, I don't think... <laughs> you can't stop me! No one can stop me now! Greed Ankylos out for blood. I probably could just queue up enough to finish the day right now and not even have to worry about people dying. That would be the smart play. The queue it all up and end the day plan. Look at this, he'll be fine. As Soon as that's done, I'll trigger the end of the day. Because you don't really have to finish any work, you just have to fill that bar up. I mean, it would be nice if Punishing Bird went away, to be fair, wherever it is. Should we wait till the Punishing Bird goes back? Alright, look at that! Look at that! 26 on Insight! He's not even gonna infect anybody for the next little bit of time. And that gets us the purse. Good job, Robert. Your slime girlfriend made me proud. Alright, I could be double greedy and try to stick around longer to get these, but no, that's too much. That's too much. We're just gonna trigger the end of the day now. So we're just gonna go in there, we're gonna send people in, it doesn't really matter what we send them in for. It's just gonna end the day. You can even send people into dangerous stuff because it doesn't matter. As long as we send in like five, it's it's game game over. And I'll even send in a couple spares just in case something weird happens. All right, no one's actually in that section, that's right. All right, that's gotta be way more than five. As soon as we get however many ticks that is, 
we got it. It's game. So you won't get to see Indigo Noon today, but one of these times. It only unlocks sometime halfway through the game, so... Whatever it is, you'll have to wait till next time. Alright, so we did get the... Wait, no, it didn't show... It did give me my suppression quest! So all that work... For nothing! They didn't even give me it! Stupid game. Stupid game. What a ripoff. Anyway, um... You know, a couple people died. Someone panicked and died. <laughs> we still only had first trumpet. Second trumpet for, uh... It had to be different anomalies? I thought that was the other quest. There was one that had four different anomalies. Pretty sure that was just five... Anyone. I'll double check what it says once we get out of here, but... I think that's two different quests you got mixed up. Anyway, that took forever. A couple people died. We got a couple points. It's okay. Overall, it's, it's fine. We're not going to reset for that. Like, there is a quest that's four distinctly different abnormalities. I'm pretty sure this one is supposed to be anything five times. Because I've done it before, and I think it was... This is one of the easier quests if you don't have Little Red Riding Hood. Anyway, um... <laughs> Who wants to vote for number one? If any system issue deletes the blur from the abnormality, we will have to sincerely think of how to deal with the manager. This one's also pretty good for you, Robert, actually. This might be your, your second love. Um, those who succeed in the hunt are granted the feather that countless hunters yearned. Sounds like another bird fella. And now it's time for my head to burst. Good day. Well, I, I think there's only one correct option. <laughs> oh, man. Am I really going to do it? This guy, this guy's fun for sure. We could, we could, we could work with this. This guy's kind of boring. Nothing special. This guy, uh, if I remember, I think it's a wall. We've been trying to get more walls, so a wall would be nice. Um, it does, it's actually probably pretty safe. At, at, at our level, this would be easy enough, I think. It's kind of like when, um, well, red was pretty tough, but it wouldn't be much harder than like, Dealing probably with Mothman or something. But, <laughs> yeah, I know. We're going number one. Even though the bird's pretty cool. Do you believe there is inexcusable behavior? No one is perfect. If we realize that forgiving others doesn't mean your enemy deserve forgiveness, but that you deserve peace, would things be better? And hello, more Twitch viewers. Number one, 10 for 10. Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm not sure I've got anyone perfectly ready for it, but uh, we've got Aleph armor, so I think we'll be okay. Can you... Oh, right, little girl. Can you really join our experiment in an unstable situation? It's 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 little hob. Michelle... Uh, right. Now we are. Michelle, frankly speaking, we are performing experiments that go against the head. If your beloved parents or your precious friends coax you, do you think you could refuse them? Hmm... You are not able to say anything to the brow beating. Carmen broke the silence instead. Stop! She's going to be amazing! Just like everyone else, Michelle liked Carmen. Oh, just like everyone else, Michelle liked Carmen. That was not a show. She was that manipulative. I should have made her tell the answer she avoided to give. Did Michelle receive what she wanted? If you remember the... The, the beginning of her core suppression, uh, A, was saying something about how she betrayed the corporation, or betrayed us, Lobotomy Corporation. Something about that. I don't know. Did she accomplish her purpose by destroying us and Carmen? I don't know. Do I have any right to bear hatred toward her? The answer was no. I'm no different than her. To be honest, I never wanted you to die in misery. Like the nasty, gossipy rumors. Were you able to successfully face yourself, manager? I think we were facing you, actually. When I opened my eyes, I thought this could be my second chance. I thought I could redeem myself and free myself from mistakes. What I did cannot be undone. A sunken pebble can never float to the surface again. 
I wanted to be a nice person. I wanted to let everyone know that I might be okay. Was I really being considerate of others? There's no room for something like that here. I was a hypocrite. All those things were for myself. I will keep trying to be a nice person. Or robot for now. It may be spurious, and some people may hate me for it. If I can say if this can save anyone or comfort anyone, I can live with pride. There you go, Hod. For those of you who chose brown eyed waifu, you get a uh well, whatever that is. Let's try this together in internal hell. And we got some more hope! The hope to be a better person. Are you listening to me? I want to help people. Hmm. No, becoming the wing is not my goal. Hmm. Well, everyone says that, but let me put it this way. What are wings if you can't fly? And if we could reach the sky without wings... Mm hmm. What I mean is, if we grow the stalk straight up like a tree, we could clearly reach the sky, even if it would be a slow climb. Look at this, the sunlight here is very warm. I sometimes dream about photosynthesis. Just dreaming of photosynthesis, that's perfectly sensible. I lie down comfortably, eyes closed, and just feel it. Just ignore all the monsters below us. Alright, more dialogue, because we've unlocked Netzax, of course. Great! <sighs> Be honest. You're not meeting me to get praised. You're not coming to praise me. Aren't you sick of it? You will do something great tomorrow again. Well, it won't be that great. But Angela and the other Sapphires will compliment you. We'll have another accident in my department. Someone will die. His name is Rides. Some will go nuts. Their name is... Casco the Second. And some will sustain unrecoverable injuries. Everyone in chat. Pod will cheer me up. Yasad will lecture me about the rules I didn't follow. Malkuth will encourage me, saying let's try again tomorrow. Nobody will say it's my fault. But it is my fault. My day just repeats. It starts with death and ends with death. And all the employees here receive a regular dose of a drug. Did you know? It helps them become desensitized to everything. Think about it. If your lunch mate's dead, torn into a thousand pieces, who can clean his body without feeling anything? Can you blame him? Can you blame them for depending on drugs? Everyone should just do drugs when they bury their hands in the sand. They might look okay, but nobody really is. I keep thinking of how to die. I know, it's, it's a metaphor. All the teenagers are doing it. Death is hypothetical. I heard injecting drugs like aspirin into the machine will slowly rust it. Then, if I put a whole bottle in my body, it will cause irreversible damage. I just injected myself with way more aspirin than usual. But my mind is clear. Completely lucid. If I open my eyes, maybe it's somewhere without you, or the Sapphiras and Angela. It was not fun. Let's never meet again. Deal. We started a full research on Kojito. The main issue was to find the proper drug dosage. He was kind of an addict. I persuaded people. I told them we should proceed with the experiment in order to save Carmen and the others. Everyone kept quiet when I asked for volunteers. One silently raised his hand. It was Giovanni who has kept himself, kept to himself most of the time. Giovanni was one of the patients from Carmen's company. I heard they knew each other from back when they were young. There is no noble sacrifice. The end is miserable, no matter how justifiable the dream is. Maybe he decided to volunteer when I said it might save Carmen. The experiment find proper drug dosages is not something that can be done in a short time. 
I did not talk to him much. We had little in common. Mostly just karma. Gogito lowers a person's boundary. And repeated experiments leave an indelible mark. I still don't know what Kojito is, but have some. Oh no, the clippers are out again. I just got rid of two clippers, and now we've got another clipper. I wonder if I should expand the welfare team. No, I don't have enough employees. Well, thing is, I'd like to start these quests. Because the quests over here are pretty good. Should I split it up? Let me think for a second. I basically need the discipline bullet, or the, not, the disciplinary team's execution bullet. We need that. But otherwise, the other bonuses aren't too important. Also, someone's at the door. Oh, we're gonna go with welfare. I'm gonna pause it. Future tubers, I'll see you guys in a minute. Live tubers, I'll be back in a minute as well. Sorry, guys. <laughs> 